Hello boys and girls, this is Ms. Monsevais. This week you're going to continue working on multiplication and we're going to be looking at some problems that you're going to be given for the activities this week. If you look on my screen, this is an example of something similar you're going to have in your activities. So you're going to have to draw and solve something like the example I have up here. So let's try and figure this out. We have seven groups of four. We have to look at how many groups we need to draw. We have seven groups. So let's write one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We're gonna have seven groups and in the seven groups, we're going to draw in each of those groups four of something. It could be four hearts, it could be four kites, it could be four stars, whatever you want to draw in each of those groups. So I'm just going to stick with hearts, no with circles. I'm going to do circles. So I'm going to draw four circles in each group. There's four in my first group. Now I'm going to do the same thing for my second group. Four for my second, four for my third, four for my fourth group, four circles for my fifth, my sixth, and my seventh group. So now that I've drawn four circles in each group, I have to try and solve it. I have to figure out how many circles are there in all. So we could do repeated addition, four plus, four plus four plus four plus four because we have four in the in each group plus four plus four is now if you remember how to count by fours you could do this really really easily you could count four eight twelve sixteen twenty twenty four twenty eight and that would give you a total of twenty eight circles but if you don't want to count by fours and you want to do it a longer way, you can just count each circle individually. You could say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Oh, I have 28 circles total. You could do it that way. Now, to write your multiplication sentence, you would write it seven, because you have seven groups, times four, because we put four circles in each group, equals 28 all together. So that is how you solve for, with, for the problem. That's how you're going to solve the problem after you draw it. Now another example would be three groups of six. So you're going to look at how many groups are you going to have to draw. You're going to have to draw three groups. So you're going to do one, two, three groups. And in each of those groups, how many of your designs are you going to put? You're going to have to put six of whatever design you choose. You could put stars, kites, hearts, diamonds, whatever you want to choose. Here I'm going to do triangles. I'm going to choose six triangles for my for each group. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six for my first group. You, whatever you do in the first group, you're going to do it to every group. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you're going to have six in each of the groups. And now you're going to have to use repeated addition. Six plus six plus six is you're going to, you can count by six, so six, 12, 18, or you can count each triangle individually. 
If you decide to count each triangle individually, then you are going to have to just go in there and count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Then you would find out, oh, I have 18 triangles in total. Now, if you want to write your multiplication sentence, you would write it as 3 because you have 3 groups times 6 equals the total number of triangles that you have, which would be 18. And this is what you're going to have to do for this week's activity on your learning board. You're going to have to draw and multiply four groups of four, six groups of five, and nine groups of three. Once you have done that, you can take a picture and send it to your teacher.